The presentation strategy Stewie favours for big flathead is called whipping. Using a fairly heavy jig head and a big squidgy shad, it's a matter of dragging, bouncing and jerking the lure across the sandy bottom, giving it plenty of erratic action. Well Stuart, you've been uh, guiding here for a few years now. Is there a peak time of the year or can you catch fish in every month of the year? Mate, um, you can catch fish you know, every month of the year, but I think um, there are certainly some better times than others. Uh, my prime time I think for chasing big flathead is October, November. You still get bigger fish you know, over the winter period, but concentrating in shallow areas. And usually in the afternoon after you've had, a, uh, had the sun on the water, in the shallow water, just to warm it up that little bit can make the difference. Stewie, we're not just casting blind here, we're actually throwing towards the edge of a sand flat that is drying out on the very bottom of the tide. What's the reasoning behind that? Yeah, the main reason there, Steve, is, you know, this whole area, you know, like when it's high tide and the tide's actually dropping, you've got small mullet and whiting and, and nippers and worms, and they've all got to come off the flats. And if you're concentrating on areas from shallow water to deeper water, and we're fishing up to 12 metres here, uh, you know, the fish hold up on those edges. <laughs> just goes to show we've been working that area there for a good 20 minutes and a lot of people probably would have moved along but you've just kept hammering that area you know it's a big fish area don't you yeah that's right steve um just with um the flats mate yeah all the shallow water and the fish become a little bit more concentrated and this run out tide's forcing all the bait off look at the size of this crocodile oh that is one big flathead, mate. Well done, put it there. That's one big fish. These things can really do some damage to you. I mean, we, we want to look after the fish, but we also don't want to damage ourselves. Look, it's just a classic corner, corner of the jaw. There you go. Squidgy shad in the uh, silver fox colour. Look at the girth of this fish. It's just massively heavy. Okay, lie the brag mat down there. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get this end. Yeah, that's flush. What do we got? We've got uh, about 94. 94 centimetres! What a ripper of a flathead that is. <laughs> that's a nice fish. That fish would be uh, up around the 7 kilo mark. It's a very, very heavy fish. Look at the size of that. <laughs> We're going to grab some quick still photos and then get her back in the water because these fish are just far too valuable to kill at this size. That's a big female that's survived many, many years and it's going to spawn a lot of eggs every season. We'll get it into the live bait yep. well now while we get the, the still camera set up. And that's the great thing about having a really big well like Stu's got in the, in the full bore. And she'll sit happily in there while we get the still camera set up and take some photos for posterity because it's not every day you catch a 94 centimetre flathead. All right, we've got our still shots and now it's time to get this beautiful big fish back into the water so that you can catch it one day. Now, I'll get it over the side. You can see this fish has never been unsupported. We've always had a hand under its stomach or it's been lying on that wet carpet. We haven't hung it up by the bottom jaw and we haven't tried to weigh it. And it really does pay to be careful with these fish. They are just such an important resource. Oh, she's ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna let her go. And down she goes into the depths. We've reintroduced this range of 125 millimeter shads. It's just too good a lure not to have. Bushy, run us through rigging one of these shads on the sort of painted fish head jig that Stewie used to catch that big flatty. It's actually quite simple to do, but again, you've got to have some attention to detail. You must put that lure on nice and straight. So we just put the point of the hook straight through the front of that lure. We slide it down, trying to keep it straight all the time. Then we come out right dead centre in the back, if we can, slide the lure up over the little keeper, and that lure should be nice and straight both ways. So there's no kinks in it. So then when we give it that sort of a whipping action that Stewie did, the tail can really swim properly and you're going to catch a lot of fish on that lure if you just put it on straight. 